have we seen a top in Bitcoin for now in this rally? And what can we expect with Bitcoin in the shorter term time frame? Maybe we can still expect a rally in the shorter term time frame. Guys, this is going to be the topic of today's video. So let's jump straight into it. Let's start off at the daily time frame and then zoom in into the shorter term time frame and let me show you exactly what I think right now is going on with Bitcoin. So first of all guys, when we are zooming out right here, we can see that Bitcoin just had a massive rally from November 2022 when we had that FTX crash right here, the FTX capitulation, where we with the Blockchain Today community went all in into Bitcoin and so far we have seen quite a massive rally and we haven't really have seen yet crazy corrections right of course we we did got a pullback right here uh, let me check how how big was that pullback actually from here to here that was a 20 percent pullback and let's have a look at some other pullbacks so from here to here we also had a 20 percent pullback but but really a correction a longer maybe multi-month correction we have not seen in Bitcoin and the chances are guys that we are getting very close to one if not already just started in a multi-month correction so it really depends a bit there are a couple of scenarios possible uh, first of all I want to talk about the macro scale like the 16 year cycle and the regular four year cycle right the, the people who are watching this channel they know about the 16 year cycle the regular four year cycle the 16 year cycle if this would be the top is it likely that we are seeing a 16 year cycle well i gotta be honest guys it is less likely because the 16 year cycle is a theory that actually has to get out out of the markets with a big big bang like a big bang something like we have seen with the dot-com bubble as well where the mania and hype just completely explodes in a very short amount of time we don't necessarily have to surpass this previous all-time high uh, but it would be actually better it would be nice to surpass this all-time high maybe slightly surpass it but get just a crazy amount of hype everyone talking about super cycle everyone being trapped and right now we are not seeing that right so this is more of a this was still a quite a nice acceleration in growth but we haven't really seen a a true blow off top event something we have seen for example in 2000 um, 2017 right here this was really a blow off top like going into a parabolic rally getting a, a complete steep sell off and that marked the top for a very long time right we had a one year bear market uh, which was followed by a nice rally right here again followed by a longer correction this is also what i mean we could be seeing right now like a longer correction instead of uh, like just what we see right here just a pullback continue pullback continue so yeah th that's just basically uh, where we are right now and a couple of things are, are possible especially when we go later in the shorter term time frame but if this were to be the weekly top if this were to be the top for now and we are going to see a multi-month correction we could see bitcoin correct to the support of this channel again uh, maybe until march april the next coming months will be not that um will be not that explosive for bitcoin we might see some funds flowing into altcoins here and there because we have seen a lot of um, media attention from bitcoin this brings retail to the space retail generally generally likes more altcoins than bitcoin but however i want to be careful with altcoins because if bitcoin is going to take a hit right here it's definitely possible that some altcoins are going to take a hit as well or maybe the main the majority of the altcoins could take a hit while a small minority could take off because um, there's hype going around them so that is just something we have to we have to look whenever this is happening but if this were to be the top right then we can expect a, a multi-month correction maybe to 36,000, but maybe even to and that is a uh, that is another level i'm looking at maybe to even to this range the former resistance right here from this range where we broke out right here we might even come as low as thirty thousand nine hundred. 
or maybe even 30,000, right? I know there's a CME gap at 26,000 as well. I think sooner or later in the future, we are going to reach that level again, but that, that might not be on this correction. That might, that might be after this whole bull market, uh, after we completed this whole bull market. So if you ask me the question, are we going to see a 16 year cycle, four year cycle? I would say, I would say for now it's still uh, not really clear. A 16 year cycle would basically mean that this correction would not really happen or maybe that we get a very small pullback right here, but that we then continue this rally because the 16 year cycle is just a very short bull market, but it should be very explosive. There should not be like an organic growth, um, healthy type of market. No, it should be really explosive, similar with the dot com bubble and similar with all like other end of bull markets. Uh, it ends with a bang. Right. And what we've seen right now was not to, uh, to, in my opinion, not really yet that bang. So, um, but it's actually good because if we're not going to see the 16 year cycle, right, if we are going to see a regular four year cycle, that would be way better for the space. Why? Because that means that we could maybe get a correction right here until March, maybe get a, like, get maybe into a sideways range, maybe make it a little bit broad, have a sideways range right here. And then later in 2024, we can take off again and have a bullish 2025, which means that we have way more time to accumulate. We have way more time to make money in this market. And I would personally really, um, yeah, like to see this scenario instead of the 16 year cycle because the 16 year cycle would mean like a short acceleration who knows to what level it can be it can be 100k it can be 200k uh well 200k is very uh very a lot uh, for that amount of time frame but maybe 100 one between 100 and 150k which will then be followed by a bear market until 2026 so that is a complete different scenario and you you maybe already know the bear market right here was very tough it was very tough for content creators it was very tough for bitcoin investors it was if you are on the wrong side of the tracks also tough for traders although this market does uh, present lots of opportunities right i do think that the next bear market guys we are definitely going to make huge profitable trades because right now we got a tool that uh, almost no one else is using which can clearly help us in um, predicting these these uh, declines and stuff so so this is what we are looking at on the macro scale right now let's go into the short term time frame because the short term time frame start to look a little bit better we've seen that right now on the world alerts we can see that uh, based on the transcripts provided the sentiment for cryptocurrencies is bearish so the sentiment right now in crypto is slightly bearish while we're at a support still making higher lows and if i bring out the indicators we can see that the relative strength index was over um oversold we can see that the uh, wave trend indicator was close to oversold we can see that the momentum is in the red but maybe soon turning into the green we're not really have yet seen that bottom um but maybe we are going to see something like this where bitcoin is going to still see some sideways make another drop but make a higher low uh, oh, sorry, make a lower low right here in the terms of body of the candle. And then when we have a look at the relative strength index right here, then we can see that we actually going to make something like this, a higher low. And here on the wave to the higher low. And then we can see the momentum coming back up. And then we have this bullish divergences. And then we can see can see how far can bitcoin bounce with these signals if we can get a nice bounce that would be great especially to the top of the range that would be awesome then we even have a chance of breaking out back to the upside and surpass this high and that means that we have not yet seen the top and that we maybe even get a little bit more firework before that actually happens right but if this bounce is going to be very weak we are going to the middle of the channel and then turn around then it's already showing that okay most likely the um Price action is a little bit more bearish. That is always important to uh, to see how these in a bull market. If we have a healthy bull market, if we have a strong bull market, we want to see with these signals that I'm just pointing out. We want to see a strong bounce, and I'm expecting for now, as Bitcoin is still in this range, still forming higher lows, I'm expecting to see a strong reaction for Bitcoin too. Um, 
yeah to get uh, to get to get a nice bounce a nice increase right here but let's see what is going to happen then if we go to a world portal guys we can see basically the same thing let me get my camera to the side we can see that the funding rates are declining right okay that's nice funding rates are declining bitcoin is at a support the support we have seen right here in uh, this specific chart okay then we have the premium index that is going negative you can see the moment it was positive right here price is going down but right now it's negative and we want to keep this negative okay then we have this uh, momentum in the index that is coming down but in the shorter term time frame is slightly coming up uh or not yet but we want to we want to wait till this curves up and the take by sell ratio is still leaning to the downside so like i said maybe we first get a small dip before we can rally but generally speaking if i look at all these signals right now based on derivatives exchange data it looks like there is a bounce in play for bitcoin very very soon in the next coming days maybe maybe monday tuesday uh, wednesday there's a bounce coming uh, maybe even tonight uh, at least that shows the next move it is important to note if that bounce is going to be like a very strong bounce if you can surpass the previous high that would be great uh, if the bounce is going to be weak then the chances again uh, increases that the, the cycle top is in for now and that we are going to see like a multi-month correction which means that maybe it, it can take um, and a lot of people fail to recognize this sometimes but maybe it can take six months uh, for bitcoin to reach the levels again that we have reached right here we have had a lot of hype guys there was a lot of hype and speculation and if we have a regular four-year cycle um and we, we for example look at the previous one we also see we got here a lot of hype in a short amount of time this one is in terms of time way more extended so this one took longer time than this so that's already a little bit different but as you can see this took like from the top to reach the top again took like longer than one year guys that took 485 days so don't underestimate the time frame that we are looking at sometimes that we are right now we could be seeing like this stop if we have a regular for your cycle we could be seeing this stop or be very close to this stop that's also the reason why uh why we have been taking profits right here at multiple at multiple levels starting from 43k uh, going up all the way to 46k which is now in hindsight pretty good and a big and a big chunk of our portfolio went to ethereum that is also a call that i've made right here on the channel and over on will alerts so yeah in that case our portfolio is actually doing pretty good it's right now in uh, in profit both cases the ethereum trade is in profit even in us dollar terms and the uh, bitcoin tra bitcoin taking profits is in profit because bitcoin is trading below or or uh, average exit price so i know the moment i posted that video i actually looked like a fool because bitcoin is going up and i had a lot of people commenting like bitcoin cannot come down but then you can see eventually i also of course we never know for sure what's going to happen right but now in hindsight you can see yes bitcoin can come down and we can come down way more uh, than where we are trading right now so i think the most important uh level right here to the downside is going to be 40,000 US dollars. I want to give Bitcoin still the benefit of the of the doubt if we are trading in this uh, channel that we still can see like a nice uh, rally, at least a bounce in the next coming days. That's what I'm seeing in the data. If the, the data can change over the next coming days, don't take that into uh, in, into consideration as well. But 40k is really that low right here because if we lose 40k, then we really have a kind of a confirmation like okay this is a failed cycle we lose 40k so the chances that we are going to see lower levels then it, it becomes like 70 80 or maybe even 90 percent so for me to be honest bitcoin is not looking too bullish although i do expect the bounce in the next coming days ahead because we are seeing a very bearish sentiment we are seeing declining funding rates negative premium index stuff like that is not completely perfect we want to see the volume momentum index trending up uh, in the today probably 
uh, and we want to see the taken by cell rates here also going up a little bit but yeah we'll, if we do see those signals then uh, it definitely shows short term time frame we most likely are in for the bounce and if we're not in for a bounce 40k is the level to watch if we lose 40k then this then the chances that this is a top like it was here is pretty pretty high and that we are going to see a multi-month correction uh, maybe to maybe even to the levels of 30,000 but who knows maybe lower because Bitcoin uh, can always go lower than expected it can always also go higher than expected right so this is just like in time in based on structure some levels that I'm watching so 30 36 35 could be a level and 30 31 could be a level but I do know we have a CME gap right here. I don't directly expect it to fill it. But if we have something similar like March 2020, then yes, we could we could definitely like fill fill something like that. It's very difficult to uh, imagine all of these scenarios right now. But that is the strength of uh, trading and and laying out paths. This is uh, important to already have a think of right now, right? So, guys, that was it for my analysis today. I hope you like it. Smash up the like button if you haven't. Subscribe if you haven't. Make sure to uh, to have the bell notification on so you get notified whenever I upload a new video. If you want to trade Bitcoin, do that on Bybit. I have an affiliate link down below in the description. Sign up with that affiliate link. You are supporting the channel, but you also get a deposit bonus up to 30,000 US dollars. Then guys, if you haven't seen this video, or wait, this video right here, click on there, watch that video. I wish you a beautiful day and I hope to see every single one of you in the next video. Yes.